Hi, um, it was about time uh, I made a video of Giant's antlers. Um, I basically was given the head, so I thought I'll uh, basically put everything together so you can see it all. Um, totally wild stag that we're talking about. This is just his first development of antlers, uh, 15 pointer. Uh, first year to two years they're growing a spike, and then the third year they grow this. So, yeah, very, very unusual to have a 15 point first head of the stag. Teddy's going to be a big stag, hence we called him giant. A um, friend found this one, I found this half. That was found about a mile apart. Um, so, lucky to get them. And then his fourth head, fourth head that I found the following year, which is this one. It's got some sort of void at the top of the crown, it's where birds peck into it and velvet because the ant is very soft. So, uh, that's that one. And then, his fifth, I didn't find any of his um, uh, antlers off his fifth head, but a friend found his sixth, an antler off his sixth head. So there we go. Again, starting to get big now. Um, and basically, giant, where the rutting ground was, giant used to go onto private ground across main roads and everything. It was about eight miles. Um, so this is his seventh head pair that I found. Ten point antler going from a wild stag. It's pretty, uh, pretty unique. So I found that and then I found the other half and as I say this is cast good eight miles away and um, very heavy 17 pointer and uh, yeah very chuffed to get them so got these and then his following head his eighth ninth tenth didn't find but I do know people have got antlers off those heads and then this is his eleventh head um, which is a 20 point pair and this one here is eleven point antler. And this is a nine. Again, they're very heavy, over four kilos in weight each antler. So it took me weeks on tracking them this year. Um, just to go every day trying to find him and then I found him. As you've seen on my film footage, I found him with this antler on that morning and then found his antler straight away while I went out looking for them. So yeah, found the pair. Um, my favourite pair. Some huge antlers. So that's that. Um, and the only reason he survived to a good old age was because of uh, the local gamekeeper who wanted to see him grow to maturity. So this is his 12th head. He's gone back now. So when stags get older, um, their teeth deteriorate where they can't eat so well. So he's gone back. His other antler, which is again you've seen on my film footage, is just a long, thin stick. So this one, yeah, is an immense 10 points on the top, funny brown and very heavy. One of my favourite antler I've ever found. Um, Great multi-point top, but um, yeah. So sadly, the following year, he um, grew grew a head, which was this, which is pretty unique because um, most stags don't make it to old age because they're always getting shot. So for a stag to get to old age and gone back, his antlers go back and smaller and deformed, and as you can see, it's just a lump. And this one's really small, and another funny brow bears trace coming out the top, out the side here. So very strange and. Um, Privileged to have followed him, but on the night in question, he was literally sat there's a barley field where he used to go in the summer. Um, and yeah, where they cut the barley, there's just crop and stubble, and he was just sat right in the middle. And um, what had happened, he had a growth on his knee, like an abscess, and it just made he basically could hardly get up. So sadly, he was taken out, but um, for the right reasons, in the end of the day, he had his, had his day, and uh, he must, yeah, he must have been in agony, pain, whatever. So, um, yeah, I was very privileged to witness the whole thing and had a great 13 years of tracking him and following him. But I thought I'd just do a film so you could see you know, what, it, what it was all about, basically. But there we go. I'll leave that there.